Hi, I'm Troy Gillen. You may remember me from such presentations as Not What to Do with Your Forklift? As pictured, that's not me. Three questions you should ask before buying a forklift. Forklift tires explained. And how to use a pallet jack safely. Today I'm here to talk about, by the way, that's not me either. Three major considerations when choosing your forklift. If an ordinary person looks inside the forklift industry, it's a common mistake for somebody inexperienced in the trade to say that you can just use any type of forklift to do the job. This is wrong. As a matter of fact, there are different types of lift machines that should be utilized depending on many factors. You just can't look at your mate's equipment, tell yourself that it works fine for him. Don't do this on a pallet jack either. And get yourself something similar, only to be disappointed in the end. Pictures of Noah's forklift. You know the guy with the ark? There's a number of things to remember if you want the right truck for the application. Consider what job you will use it for. Depending on what type of business that you have, you need to tailor fit the specifications of the lift truck according to the job you intend it to do. At the most basic application, a forklift is a machine used to carry heavy material such as pallets, crates and boxes. So you would need a machine that can carry the required amount of weight safely at all heights required, with no issues and a safety margin allowed for. You need to consider, however, more than how much it can carry. Among the things that you would need to look at is the type of material that will be moved around. Like in this picture, paper rolls, using a paper roll clamp. See how the machine helps with your productivity. How much is it able to move at a time? How long does it need to shift a load? And how easy it is to operate? Wakey wakey, not that easy. A smart buyer will check on productivity and load capacity. If you are inexperienced in your requirements, ask for someone to come and have a look at your site. They have more experience and may think of something you may not have a different type of machine to you had in mind, or a different way of racking. Another option is rent a machine for a trial period to see how it operates in real time in the real work environment before you commit to a purchase. Check the work environment. If you plan on using a forklift outdoors, you need to consider the right tire type to make sure that traction is not an issue. If you plan on using it indoors, you need to consider the entrance height. Entrance width, maximum lift height, gross load capacity, if there are any obstructions and if you prefer non-marking tyres or not. Considering that some industries require different fuel types and tyre types for hygiene purposes. Or if you don't want your floor marked by the standard conventional rubber tyres. If you overlook any of these, you create a limit to what you can do with the forklift, essentially putting a stopper to what's supposed to be a multi-use vehicle. You need to analyse the layout of the work environment you plan on using it in, and if there are things that are hindering the forklift machine's mobility. The layout of the pallet racking, allowing for pedestrian access in a shared environment you need to decide to consider mobility against load capacity if you have a location that does not have a wide enough movement area for bigger forklifts. Look which fuel type saves you money. You may think that an electric forklift will outright save you money since it's well electric. You may be surprised that this is not always the case. Each forklift type has its strengths and weaknesses while the electric is the king of fuel economy the value still depends on the job you plan on doing. Electric forklifts are fuel efficient, green and pollution free to use and should be utilised in warehousing lifting jobs because of their compact size or in situations where hygiene and cleanliness is important like food factories and refrigerated warehouses. They however require a lot of charging and will not be available when plugged in unless you have a fleet of these forklifts with you. Battery cost and maintenance are a big factor also. 
diesel forklifts. They are ideal for outside applications, harsh environments and are very reliable. The problem with them will be the fumes. They are not suitable for inside warehouse use. The fumes are extremely hazardous and need to be vented as soon as possible due to health concerns. Gas forklifts are a good cross between the electric and diesel. They have the minimal pollution similar to the electric forklift and the loading capacity and hardiness similar to the diesel forklifts, being good for indoor and general use. The changing of LPG cylinders can be of concern in some workplace health and safety environments. An LPG machine is the middle ground between electric and diesels. All workplaces are different, so make sure you get the right machine for the job. Call the friendly staff at Eureka Forklifts on 0738651205 to find out more about the best solution for your situation.